Hey guys, today we're going to talk about trees. Trees are something that I have struggled with, um, especially early on. I remember when I first started painting, my dad asked me, so what if, you know, you've been painting for a little bit, what have you found is kind of the hardest thing for you to do? And I said trees, because I was just really struggling with it at the time. And so I spent some time and really worked on, this is kind of one example, really worked on um, getting better at trees looked at a lot of pictures about um, of other artists that did trees really well um, and I spent the time. So I wanted to show you guys my, <laughs> but at the beginning of my session, my uh, derp tree here, okay, uh, and then this one was the last one. So you can see even just in one little session, now this is extremely horrible. I mean, I definitely knew how to do better trees than this, but sometimes you get a little bit into the process and next thing you know, you're like, what am I even doing? What monster have I created? So if you would like to have a little bit of a tutorial about how to not make these trees and make something a little more like this, I'm gonna do that um, right now. Okay, so the first kind of tree we're gonna do is something that you'd have like in the in the distance. So we're gonna just do a really simple sky. Um, this is like grassy area down here. And what I'll do, I'm gonna do the sky just so we get an idea of where that will be. Um, Okay, so here's the sky, a little more blue. I'll often do these as I do the sky. Put in a little more blue there. Okay, so that's the horizon line. This is gonna be the grass. And what I'll do is I'll wait for that to, I'll just take off any excess water. So it's wet, but there's not a whole bunch of water sitting there. And then I'm gonna take a smaller brush for this one. Okay, like this. And we're going to go green and we're going to do this wet and wet on the area that we've just made wet and we're just doing this at the bottom okay and so basically we've got some trees down there and what it'll do is it'll give us a really like soft look okay so it's like it's far away we've got a few trees like that and then what i might do is as it dries a little I will go in with a little bit of a darker green, so I darken it up, and we do some of that near the bottom. But you got to do it while it's still wet. I probably did that a little bit too late. Okay, so you can kind of see we've got some like some distant trees. There's a little bit darker as the ones that are. Kind of standing closer to us and that you might have like in the background of some painting and then like i said you'd have your green you know this would be your green field obviously i'm just letting it bleed into the next one but you know that might be your green grass below sky trees grass okay we're going to use this picture that i have here as an example and so i'm just going to go we're going to do this kind of hill line this is where the trees kind of break We've got a little bit of grass and then here's some trees here, right? And then that's empty. So that's kind of our section I'm gonna do. We're not gonna do everything. I'm just gonna focus on that area. So we have a tiny bit of sky. I'm just gonna go clear down over this hill. Okay. Take some of that moisture off. So this whole hill I'm gonna do in the greeny blueish almost. Okay, so there's the hill. Down near the bottom maybe as the trees get a little closer, we'll do a little more green, do some spots around. Okay, that's kind of our green hill. What we would do then, this is the green um, for the grass, but we're not gonna do that right now. So what I will do is just wet an area right in here. And then we're doing our little row of trees here. Now these are darker, so I'm gonna make them, I mean, these are closer. So I'm gonna make them darker so that they kind of look like they're sitting a little further ahead. Okay, and so those are just going like that. It's almost dry already, but there's a little bit of a soft look. Go like that. Okay. 
And then later on we would go in and do this green field there. Okay, so now that that's dry, I'm just gonna go in here. We'll do our green and then down below. And there we go. Okay, for our second kind of trees, we're gonna do something that's a little more like in the mid ground. So it's not way in the back, but not so prominent that it's um, in the front. And some people that do an amazing job of this is there's two um, guys from India, Gulshan Achari and Melind Malik, and I'll put a link down in the bio to their stuff, but I can show you some pictures here. Just amazing um, the way that they have those trees fade into the background, they're, they have life and um, kind of like texture, but they're, but they're not dominant. So the most important thing with this is to keep it light and you're gonna try to go for one color basically um, in the background. So I'm gonna do these, kind of a series of these palm trees. So we're gonna start as if we were in the back left and we're just kinda gonna go through. We're gonna do a bunch like that, kinda come through. Got another one here. So again, the idea here is trying to keep it one color, okay, because that'll fade kind of into the background as a layer. The other thing is trying to leave lots of white space. Okay, so that's kind of more a palm tree look. Now I wanna do more of a, like a, a normal trees that we would see kind of here in Canada, say. Okay, so you can imagine this might be, say, like a tree that's, Maybe we've got something going on down here and then we've got a tree kind of off in the, or a bunch of trees, I guess, off on this right hand side. So the idea here, again, we're just being really loose and, whoop, and leaving lots of spaces. If we wanted, we could go in and darken up some spots, but I wouldn't want to do that a whole lot, okay, if we just wanted to give it a little more life. Some spaces down here. Okay, so that might be something that we have in the background, you know, and then we've got a scene like this, and maybe what's here is a little more important, and we might even have some other branches hanging over in front of this stuff, but that's kind of mid-ground trees, not way in the back, but not the prominent sense, you know, whatever this is, is is your main thing. Okay, our last type of tree we're gonna do is a kind of something that you would see in the foreground. It's a prominent figure in your in your composition. So if your if your painting had like a tree as one of the main things in it, right? So for this one, um, let me quick put some pencil lines down. Okay, we're we're gonna use this tree here. So got a few little branches. It doesn't really matter, and then. We've got our general tree kind of up here. All right. So um, the idea behind this is not having one color. So varying the color and different shades. And with trees, we may be tempted to just go in and make it all green, but it's not all green. So we're, we want to bring out the variety of those colors. So for this one, I'm going to start in with some yellow. We're going to do that up near the top. Okay. So we're just going to go like straight yellow. Then I'm gonna add in some green. We'll put that in. So this is light green, okay. And then I'll do some more yellows, yellows and greens. And then we're gonna add in some darks as we get down below. So there's two ways we could do this. We can go in and do this kind of all in one go, like I'm doing right now. We can also go and we can, um, glaze over top so that's where we'll go in over our um, over some of these spots you know I could go like this and go in again 
and add in some darker places where darker branches are. I'm still leaving these white spaces um, just because there's always spaces in between where the branches where we can see through to the sky right and then we're working down at the bottom where um, it's all shaded there are some spots I might just put in some yellow and green here okay but down at the bottom where it's all shaded that's where we get down here and then when you get to the actual trunk it's kind of up to you what you want to do so um, I will often just go I'll actually just use the same color like a dark green and just go really dark almost like a black okay, and just go in like that that's usually what I would do you could if you wanted take a brown um, I might do that on the right hand side because there's a part that doesn't have as much shadow so I can go in here with a brown and try to join it up with the rest of the tree right and bring that down and then I'll go dark so that this side of the tree is all kind of in shadow and then we've got the bottom and then if we wanted we would put our shadow in after right wherever that is shadow is always the ground and object so well so there we go okay so that's kind of like a basic tree okay i thought i would do one more tree with you guys do more of a pine tree style if you happen to be living somewhere where you have a lot more of those and you want to paint those so for this, I'm going to be using a rigger brush. Okay, if you, if you don't have a rigger brush, you can just use a normal old brush. That's fine. Um, I just know that I've used the rigger brush in them before, and I liked the way that it turned out. So I'm going to do that. So for this, um, we're going to be using this picture or this uh, tree up here on the left. So we'll just be going in, and this one I'm going to spend quite a bit more time and just bring out. A bunch of the different uh, branches and we're keeping those fairly loose again we're trying to vary the colors so I'm going dark kind of as we get closer into the middle of the tree okay lighter on the outsides We can always go back over if we don't, if we end up too light. Um, go back over and touch up the tree again. So then down below, you can see some of these branches are all kind of molding together. So a bunch of these, we'll just go like that. Try to use the angle of your brush to bring out some characteristics you might not normally have. Okay, down at the base, it really all starts to get quite, quite uh, connected. Okay, so, and I'm gonna go back in. There's a lot more darkness in here. Down here. Okay, there are some light spots kind of the fringes, but in general, it's all pretty dark. Do some, trying to get some light, but I'm keep mixing in with the dark. There we go. Some dark again. And then we'll go down to the base down here. Now, this is fairly wet, so it's gonna dry pretty light. So what I might just do is let it dry and we'll take a look at it because if we had done this, you know, together, um, I don't think we would be happy with the way that it is just like that. Okay, here's our shadow. So I'm going to let this dry and then we'll go back and retouch it up and bring out some of those qualities that we wanted. Okay, so it's mostly dry now. So I'm just going to go back in and there's a few spots that I kind of want to darken up because um, right now it's a little bit monochromatic I know there's variety down here but um, we just want to bring in a bit more texture a bit more variety so I'm just adding in a few branches here and there little spots in here
And then this trunk needs to definitely be darker. Make it stand out from amongst the shadow. I'll just add a little more, but pretty much I would say this is probably good. We wanted to have a little bit of a an actual pointy top. We don't want that to just be a hard line. There we go. That's our tree. So guys, just to recap, we went over three kinds of trees today. So we went over some background trees, a lot more atmospheric, um, wet and wet, single color, bring in a second color maybe for some contrast. We went over kind of mid-ground trees, so leaving lots of white spaces, using a single color. Um, blues often help because blues typically fade into the distance a little more. Okay, and then we talked last but not least about the foreground trees, so the kind of trees that you would find more in a focal area. Um, and so there we varied the colors a lot, yellows, greens, um, darker greens, and browns, um, and tried to make those trees pop and stand out and look, um, look really realistic, okay? Um, let me know what you guys thought of this. It's a little different than some of the like full painting tutorials that I've done, so let me know if you'd like to see more of these kind of techniques. Um, and other than that, if you like what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.